Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Aquarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What do we need to know from my Aquarians, please, today? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please, Spirit. Aquarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So we have the Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Energy. And we have the Four of Cups. We have the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean, Energy. And we have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Clarity and Guidance for my Aquarians, please. We have the Ace of Swords. And we have the Five of Cups. Messages for my Aquarius, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarius, please. So we have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. And we have the Sun, Leo, Energy. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarius, please. So we have the Ace of Cups. And we have the Two of Pentacles. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarius, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarius, please. Aquarius, please. The Tower in the Reverse. And the Three of Pentacles. Under the deck, we have the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. So Aquarius, I feel like this this could be you, this could be your person, but for whoever we're reading for here, this is someone who has very high, uh, do I want to say self-esteem? No, they have a lot of confidence that they can um, do this. Someone is trying to come in with either an apology or an offer. Someone here is trying to manifest something, but the problem is whatever someone's offering, it's like the other person's not even seeing it. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I'm getting like a little bit of peacocking here. Like, I feel like someone really wants to be seen. They want to offer something. They're trying to drop hints, maybe. Um, they're, they're being quite direct there with the Knight of Cups, um, but it's just not being acknowledged, not being taken. I feel like someone here is in love, but they are not expressing those feelings. Someone here it has a major crush, head over heels in love, but they are not speaking. Do you see what I'm saying? They are not speaking. I feel like I feel like someone maybe is is afraid to totally come out and ask a direct question like i feel like someone's pretty direct with the flirting okay there's a lot of flirting happening but when it comes down to a stable question like will you go out with me or will you marry me or will you do this you know what i'm saying um i feel like someone is scared of rejection and and i feel like someone here wants to feel confident when they ask that this person feels the same way in return Okay. Unfortunately, though, I feel like as much as someone wants victory, it's just not happening with the tower in the reverse. It's like this person's self-esteem is up and down. One minute they want victory, one minute they're giving up. One minute they're giving up, one minute they want victory. Do you see what I'm saying? Victory, victory, giving up, giving up. You know, disappointment, crumbling, you know, it's like... The courage and the coward. You know what I'm saying? It's like for one minute someone has courage, one minute they're a coward. One minute they have courage, one minute they, they're like, no, this isn't going to happen. Do you understand? It's like someone here just... Um, I feel like, see, look, the King of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Two of Cups. Someone here really wants something to, to come to a head. Like, someone here really sees happily ever after. But if I ask you to be with me and to commit to me, you know, what happens if this person holds back and doesn't want me and says no? Do you understand? Or, you know, what happens if it doesn't, it doesn't work out? There's a, a fear of rejection, maybe, or... 
maybe someone's just not giving enough signs like you know indicating like yeah ask me out or yeah ask me the question like someone's just not getting they're not picking up on what's going on on the other person's mind tell me about this magician please tell me about the magician please tell me about the magician we've got the seven of swords Tell me about the Knight of Cups, the World, and the Ace of Wands. Guys, you see what's happening here is someone's trying to manifest, but on the DL. Someone's trying to manifest, but they're not truly being honest with their emotions. They're trying to sneak their way in, okay? And I feel like there's maybe this flirtatious energy between you and this person, but someone wants that to change. They want to get it in. Like, you know what I'm saying? Someone here wants to have sex. They want to start a life. They want to, like, someone here is done with the frivoly, the frivolities and the flirting. Like, someone here really wants to start a life with somebody. They, they want this you know what i'm saying they want progression um four of cups and the nine of swords but there's a fear of rejection you see what i'm saying tell me about the sun tell me about the sun please tell me about the sun the ace of pentacles yeah i i feel like someone really um Someone here wants to start a relationship with somebody. I mean, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Someone here really wants to start something with someone big time. But with that High Priestess, they're not having a direct conversation. They're not speaking directly. Two of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Nope, I am too scared of being rejected. I'm too, I'm going to keep it to myself because I'm scared that what if this person holds back from me? Look at this Ace of Cups and the High Priestess. Someone here is head over heels in love and not speaking. Page of Pentacles, please. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. We've got the King of Wands, Leo Sagittarius Energy. Once again, if I ask the question, I need to be confident. I need to be sure that this person likes me back. I have to be sure that they're going to say yes. You know, I, I can't, I can't, I need to be confident when I go in for the kill. I can't be unsure with the Two of Pentacles. You see what I'm saying? I need to, I need to be confident and know that, you know, the answer will be yes. You see? Ace of Swords and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy. Tell me about this tower in the reverse. Tell me about the tower in the reverse. We've got the sun, Leo energy. It's like one minute someone's like, okay, I love this person and I'm going for it. I want to win this person. Give me a second here. Tell me about this five of cups. And the six of cups. Tell me about this three of pentacles. The Eight of Wands. Oh, Aquarius, are you trying? So this is this is a past person. Aquarius, this is not someone totally new. This is someone trying to come in with an apology. This is someone saying, listen, I realize that this connection, like, I realize I fucked up bad. Like, someone's like, I realize I messed up so bad that there's a, that, that you would think it's impossible for this to come back together. Three of swords under the deck. You know what I'm saying? Someone here is like, I know I hurt you really, really bad, but I regret it. I feel like someone's going to come forward with their truth. They're going to speak how they feel. They're going to say, either they're coming forward towards a, a, a one sign cancer scorpio or pisces or someone here is going to express how they truly feel and someone's like listen i know i messed up really bad i know that the chances of this coming back together are really like slim but i regret the past i regret the past i regret what i did and i would like to move forward i would like to maybe go speak to a counselor or go talk to somebody or maybe someone here has a friend that they're bringing in to try to mediate the situation but someone here wants to move forward and they want success this is not a new situation, Aquarius. This is a reconciliation. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is someone wanting to come in and reconcile. Spirit, do we see reconciliation taking place? Do we see this working out? Do we see this coming together? Do we see... Oh, someone wants to heal some major heartbreak here, guys. 
Someone wants to heal some major, someone got hurt really bad here, and someone's coming in to ask for forgiveness, Sagittarian energy. Will you forgive me? Someone here really wants forgiveness, guys. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Aquarians, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarians, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarians, please. Someone's like, you know what? I don't even remember why we broke up. Like, I remember that we were so passionately angry at the time, but I don't even remember why I hurt you. I don't even remember why I said the things I said. I don't even remember why I did the things that I did. I don't even know how we got here. Someone's like, I don't even know how we got we, we got to this point where, you know what I'm saying, and I want to try again. Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationship or addiction and abundance someone here wants to heal this and with abundance here they want to manifest um bliss they want to manifest abundance here guys someone here is just like i don't even remember what we fought about i know i hurt you and i remember saying nasty things and i know everything kind of hit the fan and and you know should hit the fan but i don't even remember why all i know is i miss you i love you and i want to try again We've got retreat. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Maybe you're dealing with someone here that was manipulative, that was a cheater. Maybe someone here thought that a third party was the right answer. Maybe someone left you to go towards a third party and now they're realizing, like, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? We've got children here. Maybe they have a child with someone else. Or this person, you know what it was? It was lust, not love. Do you see what I'm saying? I feel like what happened here for many of you is that a, a connection came apart because somebody went off with a third party and they're realizing now that it was lust, not love. They're realizing, yeah, they're realizing that it was, they went off to have this new beginning thinking that it was going to be something more than what it was and it was lust, not love. Now they're calling their soulmate back in. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together and we've got chemistry and it's safe for you to love. I feel like... I feel like this person's going to open up to you. I feel like this is a soulmate connect. Yeah, I feel like you might give this a chance. I'm not going to lie. Heart to heart conversations, engagement, soulmate, give this relationship a chance and it's safe for you to love. I feel like when this com person comes back, um, there's going to be a genuine feeling of, I can tell that this person is being honest, you know? Now, I mean, for everyone, it's going to be different as to whether or not you want to reconcile, but I do feel like what happened here is something really nasty happened in the past. I mean, nasty to the point that with the tower in the reverse, it should never... The, the, you know what I'm saying? This should really never come together again. That's how bad it was. But someone here is regretting what they did and they want to come back and they're still in love and they still, they want to speak their truth. They want to speak their truth. Okay. All right, guys. I love you and take care. Bye.